Hello and welcome. This is Ted Byerly, Senior Technical Marketing Engineer here at F5. And I'm here to talk to you today about the OWASP Automated Threats. Specifically, we'll be talking about denial of service. The OWASP Automated Threats to Web Applications project was completed and identified named and classified various scenarios where automated software caused a divergence from accepted behavior, producing one or more undesirable effects on a web application. The OWASP Automated Threats Handbook lists 21 categories that exist today and are listed here for reference. I'd like to start by framing what this automated threat covers, or in other words, what it is and is not. This automated threat is not what typically is considered a denial of service or a distributed denial of service. Examples layer three and layer four and some layer seven protocols. I will link future videos covering F5's distributed cloud DDoS solutions at the end of the article and video. So you may be asking yourself, what is denial of service according to OWASP? Remember, it's really about resource exhaustion. We talk about system, memory, processes, etc. But what would cause this? We're kind of talking about two different things. Could be unintentional. Example, web scrapers come to your website to scrape the latest prices. Or maybe it's intentional. Maybe it's a database query that'll overwhelm your database. So your next question should be, what am I going to do to protect myself and my network? I'm going to tell you to simply focus on bots, sometimes referred to as robots, or as OWASP calls them, automated threats. So how are you going to stop these automated threats? Simple, with F5's distributed cloud bot defense. As the picture shows, we have many solutions. Today, we're going to look at the WAP solution, although other videos have covered our F5 bot connector strategy. F5 has an easy solution to quickly implement bot defense in our WAP product. And now I'm going to transition to showing you the distributed cloud bot defense on WAP. First step will be to log into F5's distributed cloud console where it takes you to our standard landing page. You're going to select load balancers. And in this example, I'm going to verify the correct namespace. Once you're in the correct namespace, you can already see there's two load balancers already configured. We're going to take a look at one of the load balancers and click the ellipses to the right. Next, select manage configuration. And at the top of the page, we can pick edit configuration. Over in the menu, bot protection. And as you'll see, it's already enabled. We selected the region and we'll look at the configuration. The endpoints configured with from posts with both protocols, any domain, the path, and the action. JavaScript's inserted where you want it to insert on the page and if you're doing mobile SDK, which we're not in this case. So that load balancer is configured for bot protection. Now I'm going to show you one that's not configured for bot protection. Same way, ellipses, edit configuration, bot protection is not enabled. You can go ahead and enable the bot protection. Once enabled, you can select a region. We're going to select US. Then we're going to do configure our policy the endpoint configuration add item give it a name a description if you may what methods we're going to do for this demo we're just going to do a post but all the methods are available which protocol both HTTP and HTTPS any domain we're going to give it a path, and this is your protected endpoint path. Fill in your protected path. 
After that, you're going to pick a type of traffic, web, mobile, or both. For this demo, we're just doing web traffic and what you're going to do with that traffic. We're going to block it, give it 200 and a message back, click apply, apply. Then we're going to pick where to insert our JavaScript with its name. We're using the recommended location, click apply, scroll to the bottom of the page, click save and exit, take you back to your main load balancers page. Now we're going to take a look at that load balancer configured. And this is the main dashboard, but we want to look at security monitoring. And then we show all the security events related to that load balancer. We're going to take a quick look at bot classification. Three tiles down on the page. Click on one of the events and it takes you into a drill down page where you get all the details with your IP, method, what event and where, and action that was taken. I wanted to reiterate how quickly and easily you could protect yourself from these OWASP automated threats with F5's distributed cloud bot defense. I just demonstrated how to quickly set it up on your load balancer and F5 will do the rest of making sure your application is used in the way you want it to be used and not abused.